Hey guys! So today I thought I would do my first ever monthly favorites video. I enjoy watching people's monthly favorites because I feel like I learn about a lot of new products and um, I just think it's really great. I just think it's a great like thing to have a monthly favorites because you learn a lot about the person and also you find really cool new things. Like a lot of cool new things I found in a lot of other people's monthly favorites. Um, I'm actually including them in my monthly favorites. So that's great. So the first thing I want to start off with is a gadget. This is something I think in today's world everybody needs to have. I didn't think I needed one until I got one and then it's like my most used thing that is a gadget in my like vicinity besides my camera and my phone and it is this little thing. It is a Chiro. It is this. This is an external battery charger and you guys are probably like wow that is huge. It is, but I like that it is because I get I can find it in my purse easily. Also, what's really great about this is that it charges five to seven times, I think, for your iPhone. Um, so I've, I've gotten seven charges out of this thing. Um, I know that some people probably are... I know that on the website it says five charges, five full charges, but I've gotten seven. So um, this is really great. So it tells you here on the side how many charges you have left. And... Um, it's just really great. It takes a long time to obviously like charge up, but once you got it, you just throw it in your bag, your purse, your backpack, whatever it is that you have, or even in your car, and in case of emergencies, you have something that will charge your battery because my phone here uh, dies instantly within two seconds of me using it or opening an app. Also, this is great to charge your camera. It's also really great if you need to charge your DS. It's also really great if your friends Ba batteries are dying and you can charge it. It's just a really big light, light lightsaber. <sighs> watching too much Star Wars. It's just a really great lifesaver, especially when you're out and about and you aren't going to be home for a very long time. It's just great to have. Um, I know that they sell really tiny ones that are like for one charge. They also sell really tiny ones for like a few charges and they're tiny and you can use them in your purse. That's great and if you like it, totally get that but I really like this big one and this is a Chiro and it has a little face and it's just so cute I mean look at it it is adorable the next thing on my favorites list I know you guys have probably seen this a thousand times already but it is my Erin Condren I really enjoy it it keeps me on track and everything and it's just a really great planner I recommend these planners a lot and just planners in general the next thing on my favorites list is my camera that I am filming this on right now I'm not filming this on my normal uh, 60d uh, DSLR camera. I'm filming this on a Sony A5100 and it is amazing. It I feel like sometimes it even has better quality than my regular DSLR and um, I'm just really enjoying having it and bringing it with me everywhere that I go and it's just a really nice camera and it it's just a great thing to have. It's really nice. For this month's game pick of the month thing, I'm gonna talk about Town of Salem for a second because I can't stop playing this game. Um, my friends have gotten a little annoyed of it because we play it so much. So the whole plot of the game is um, you are a town and each person in the town can either be a townsperson or something evil like in the mafia or a werewolf or a witch or a serial killer and the people in the town have to try to guess who it is and then kill them off before they kill them. This game is probably a little boring if you play it by yourself, but if you play it with some friends on Skype and you guys just don't tell each other what you are in the game and you guys don't tell each other your names even, it's it's a great time because sometimes your friends end up killing you without knowing or they figure out who you are because of your name. I don't know, it's just great. So just, I would totally recommend Town of Salem and all of that trash. My book favorite of the month is the only book I read this month, which is Abaddon's Gate. I finally finished it this month. I'm in love with the Expanse series. My favorite show of the month is going to be Star Wars The Clone Wars. Um, I've been very, very ill recently. If you guys uh, haven't seen my vlogs, you probably wouldn't know, but I've been pretty sick. I've had fevers most <laughs> days of the month than I think any normal human being needs to. One of the things I would sit down and watch and relax with was Star Wars The Clone Wars and I have to say that this series is amazing. I recommend it to anybody that's excited for The Force Awakens uh, that's coming out at the end of the year. Um, it's just such a great show. I love the characters. The animation is awesome. 
the action is really good. There's a lot of like arcs though that I just seem to skim through because they don't matter in the large picture, like the droid arcs. Who the fuck cares about the droids, am I right? But I do recommend this. It's on Netflix, the entirety of the show, and it is just really, really great. And it's nice to see other characters, and it's nice to see characters that you thought you hated because of the movies, but you see them better now. I don't know. I just really am enjoying myself watching the show. Favorite movie of the month has to definitely go to Ant-Man. If you guys haven't seen that, you definitely should. And I also have a review for that right up here. If you can click right there, you'll see that beautiful review for Ant-Man, which is a great movie. You guys should go see it. That's it for my favorites, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I hope to have better and more in-depth favorites. Uh, this is my first one, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to include and what I don't want to include. If you guys have any recommendations, go, you know, talk about it down below in the comments. Um, so, without further ado, uh, I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! The first book I'm going to talk about, you probably saw it on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should totally do that. Uh, but it is Dust by Hugh Howey. This is the third and final book in the Silo series. 